Back to our next video, and today we're going to be looking at Wade. Another legendary pitcher. Throws left, bats left, two seam fastball, change up, slider, and a Wade curve. Right? This guy, the higher the batter's rarity, the faster he throws. So if you're pitching against a legendary lineup, Wade is going to be very beneficial for you. And he is pretty solid when it comes to spin and his movement. Very tough when it comes to that slider. And his control of velocity, a little bit above average, but that's where he lacks. That, that control is pretty tough. All right, and then again, hitter, like every other pitcher, about a 168 across the board. So let's go ahead and see him from two different points of view and see what we can do with Wade here. All right. So again, here we go. All right, so let's take a look real quick at his fastball. Two-seam fastball coming up in, again, coming from the left side, has that to a right-handed batter that goes towards the batter to the outside a little bit. And I recommend typically, you know, get pitching on the edges. It's got a movement. Like I said, it's a really good thing. It's going to be quite deceiving when you're pitching on these edges. You're going to get a lot of swings and misses. Um... And if you're patient, you might get a couple of uh, nice little looking strikes. Now let's take a look at the slider. Again, the slider kind of comes over the top at a little diagonal level. Pretty much nice and easy. Yeah, right. And again, I recommend when you're throwing that slider, as you see like the flame here, that's when you know you're going up against another legendary pitcher. So let's take a look at the Wade curve. Where does it drop? at a nine level, right? It's going the full length of the strike zone. Let's take a look at that again. How high does it start to where it drops? That's pretty deceiving because a lot of times you get that, you can kind of throw the pitch into this, out of the strike zone and you'll get a lot of swings and misses sometimes. All right, now let's take a look again. Flame against a legendary batter, really helpful. All right, now let's take a look at that changeup. So, again, oops, that's going to be a fastball in the top corner. Nope, oh, curveball again. All right, so what we're going to do is we're going to start throwing a two-seamer up. You throw it up in the strike zone, and then what you do is you get that changeup and a little deception, and you throw it down. All right, and a lot of times you'll get that nice, easy swing and miss because of that right, it looks like it's right in the strike zone, and then it drops right out. All right, so let's go ahead and see it from the other angle, All right? So again, right against, that flame is kind of like I said, it is gonna be quite deceiving. All right, so let's see a fastball. All right, so again, at level nine, you see that outside, inside, and let's see a slider. All right, so it has a nice sweeping moment uh, movement. It's going to start from the middle of the plate and then go to the out inside to a right-handed batter. All right, and let's see what that curveball looks like. All right, you see how how high it starts into the strike zone and where it drops. Right? It has a lot of movement go cutting down. All right. And then let's finally let's check out that change up and see what's going on here. All right. Quite deceiving. All right. So there's kind of Wade's four pitches there. Have a great time and hope to see you next time. Thanks for watching and have a good one.